Listen up, guys. I think we all know what today was. Today simply wasn't good enough. We have high aspirations as a team. If we want to get there, we got to raise our game. Today was not good enough. Next practice, I want it better. Pressure is on. This one is for the gold. Hey, big fella, swing over here. 
Let's talk. We've been talking about you getting better every week. And you know what? Today you got better. Let's keep it up. Kick your season off by starting your first game. Now, let's take a minute to see how you can improve your team. An early battle for two NFC heavyweights. It's the Cup. Well, we welcome all of our viewers inside a place that the folks around here like to call the Vault. And that's Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Today, it's the opener of a new NFL season between the Dallas Cowboys and the Carolina Panthers. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. the 30 here that throw good for four it's second down I think defensively you're okay with that you're in the first quarter he's going to get some catches but they rallied to him quickly and that's what you count on and I like what you just said first quarter can you do it all game long they catch it you tackle and they go down on the spot because when you're able to do that you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Nice connection there with Ian Thomas, a rookie out of Indiana, and he's one of those guys that I truly believe his best football is ahead of him. Always has been a consistent blocker. His receiving gets better and better. I thought in 2017 with IU, he was terrific, and now he gives a great addition to the Carolina Panthers passing game. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility, and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there will be designed runs as well as his scrambles. Now a carry. It's C.J. Anderson. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs... They're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Now Cam, option left. He may try and run for this. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. He has enough for the first down on the keeper, a gain of six. 
And while it's highly unusual for NFL teams to think about using their quarterback on key third down runs, none of those teams save one has Cam Newton. He's unique, one of the biggest quarterbacks you'll ever see. Give him the ball, let him pick it up. First down, here's the run with Anderson. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. Touchdown, Carolina. A great effort there. 48 yards. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big time success putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. In other words, a deep game film to work off of. Tendencies to work off of. The first drive of the season. Things can be entirely different than what you've seen in the past. It's a really good job of execution by them. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And they're still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott, a dump off to Elliott. Oh, now he bowls him over. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first thanks to a flashy little spin move. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want it for a series. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. So one quarter in the books on NFL kickoff weekend. It's a close game here early on. We're back to Uptown Charlotte after this timeout. A first down carry by Allen. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. In on the tackle there, Luke Keekley. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. On second down, Elliott. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size and these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. And this is going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. 
And this won't get there. Won't be on line either. It's no good. Off to the right. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap. Good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. From the 50, Newton. Flush to his right. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Second down, McCaffrey, and he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Only a gain of a yard there, but it indeed gets him a new set of downs. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Touchdown! Olson, 40 yards. Add on to their lead. It used to be that if you were a big wide receiver and the coaches wanted to make you a tight end, you resisted the move. Now it's almost a glamour position because they have the mismatch advantage. Are you going to cover them with a linebacker? They're probably faster. A defensive back, they're going to be bigger. Tight end is the new big time position. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Out comes the Cowboys offense. The wild optimism going into last season, of course, because they were coming off that 13-3 and year, but they faded a bit last year as they dropped to a good but not great 9-7. and The good thing for Dallas, they played a pretty volatile division in the NFC East. He hasn't been a repeat champion in the East since 2003, 2004, and that was Philadelphia, who currently holds the crown right now. But this is a Dallas team that I think is working. its way through some adversity they've lost some key veteran players along the way the last two years so the face of the franchise actually the face is quarterback Dak Prescott but to me the guy who really makes him go running back Ezekiel Elliott if they get 16 out of him expect Dallas to be in the thick of things well we saw him there trying to get it to the outside trying to get to the perimeter but not a whole lot of room there but there's got to be one positive to that if you keep moving laterally Creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it and it will help him at contract. And this will pop up easily. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. And the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. A reminder coming up at the half, we hook up with a new guy, Jonathan Coachman from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis, and more importantly this year, scores and stats from around the league here in week one. So do not press that skip button. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. I remember in pregame when we were talking to him on the field and he took his gloves off and showed us his fingers. A few misshapen ones in there. And now we know why trying to catch those types of bullets. That was a dart. Yeah, even
even for a talented receiver, those are tough to hang on to. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll pitch it out to Elliott. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. It's a loss of two, now third down. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs up you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. As they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Now the offense not going anywhere. They're staying out there. They've converted once already on this drive. Here they go again on fourth down. Running with Elliott. Well, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up. Loose football. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. And hindsight 2020, I think they probably should have gone for the field goal, right? The three points would look really good right now. But I think what we just saw there analytics really starting to creep into the game because more and more teams are saying the more you go for it the better your odds of getting it the better your odds of scoring six points instead of three they took a chance there it just didn't pay off yeah right here the anti-analytics guys go thumbs up This challenge was initiated by the guys in New York taking a look at the play. Less than two minutes. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard. Flat on his back. Dontari Poe forcing his way through there to drop him for a loss of a good 10 yards. A second down throw for Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he'll go down at the 28. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Third and long for Prescott. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we'll check in for the first time with the newest member of our Madden family. It's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll get things started in the NFC. Arizona playing host to visiting Washington. And in the second quarter, it's the Redskins who are out in front. The Redskins looking for the win on the road in week one. From there, we're off to check out another game. 
and they were winners in that one over the visiting Tampa Bay Bucks. 28-13, the final score. Finally, let's get to Philadelphia. Check on the Eagles at home at Lincoln Financial Field. And it was the visiting Atlanta Falcons who come in and get the victory. The Falcons get out to a hot start as they get the road victory in their opener. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave them with a third and about five. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A short gain there of just four, and that'll bring up a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Give him 11 yards that time on the return, and the Panthers will take over now first and 10. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now a play fake here on first down. This one complete to Devin Funches. A fantastic connection that time. Newton. Funches.